Hi guys, I was uh, asked a question about a verse in, in Philippians, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And uh, so I wanted to, I done some looking today and to see what that was and how, what it, what it meant. And the King James, the King James has it in Philippians. Uh, <laughs> there's my magnifying glass. I'm looking for that. <laughs> I find things I look in the Bibles, don't we? Philippians, uh, Thessalonians, we're over in Philippians. It'll be right after Ephesians. Unless they moved it since the last time I looked. But in Philippians uh, 4, Verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And I, actually, I got one of them on the wall up there uh, that was gave to me. Here. See, right up here, I got I got one up there on the wall. <clears throat> it was gave to me. It had been a while back. And uh, so I thought, well, all right, so I can do all things. It says I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. But the deal is, we got to look at that in context. Look at it in context. Uh, I want to use the uh, I want to use the concordant because uh, that's what I, I I can understand it better for me. All right, so I got I got the concordant. I got this big print which I use because it's hard for me to see the other. All right, so. And in context, uh, I'll jump up here to verse 10. And we'll go down through 15 of this, Philippians 4. It says, uh, Now I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that at length, for once your disposition toward me blossomed, to which you were disposed also, yet you lacked occasion. Not that I am hinting at a want, for I learn to be content in that in which I am. I am aware what it is to be humbled as well as aware of what it is to be superabounding. And everything and among all I am initiated to be satisfied as well as to be hungering, to be superabounding as well as to be in want. For I am strong in him who is invigorating me, Christ. <clears throat> See, so uh, to be to be all of that, you know, there was uh, he learned how to be invigorated, uh, to have a, have a renewing effect on him in his mind and his body was through Christ, and and he was strong in him that way. Uh, look over to 2 Corinthians uh, 12. 2 Corinthians 12, 7. I've got as a, a reference here. And we'll look and see because 1 Corinthians 12. Uh, start out in verse, in verse 9. It says, And he has protested to me, Sufficient for you is my grace, for, for my power is my power in infirmity, is being perfected with the greatest relish then will I gather would I will I rather be glorying in my infirmities that the power of Christ should be tabernacling over me wherefore I delight in infirmities in outrages in necessities in persecution in distress for Christ's sake for whenever I may be weak then I am powerful See, so how how is he how how does that all play together? You know, he was he said over here in Philippians four to be humbled. Uh, he knew what it was like to be humbled, uh, to be hungry and and to be satisfied and, and to be for he was strong in him who invigorated him as being Christ. So look over in Ephesians, Ephesians three. Uh, I got Ephesians three sixteen tapped off right there. Uh, 
Ephesians 3, 16 says that he may be given you in the court of the riches of his glory to be made staunch with power through his spirit. See, so with, with Christ living in us, Christ lives in us, and through the power of the Holy Spirit living in us, we have strength. Strength to do what? Look at Colossians 1. Go over to Colossians 1, 11. That's just right after Colossians 1. All right, Clark, uh, Colossians 1, 11 says, Being endued with all power in accord with the, the might of his glory for all endurance and patience with joy. See, now, and how do we get that? Well, it's given to us. Um, God gives us that over in Ephesians 6, 10. And I was just looking at this. This is, this is given to us in God. God gives us in Ephesians 6, 10. If I can get this here. Ephesians 5, Ephesians 10, 6, verse 10. For the rest, brethren, mine... Be invigorated in the Lord and in the might of his strength. Put on the, the panoply, or the fourth, as a full suit of armor of God, to enable you to stand up to the stratagems of the adversary. For it is not ours to wrestle with blood and flesh, but with the sovereignties and with authorities, with the world mights of this darkness. See, and, and this suit of armor that was given to us by God is what how we become uh, the strength the, the, through through Jesus Christ through Christ Jesus here and that we're talking about in Philippians 4 uh, Philippians 4 13 for I am strong in him who is invigorating me through through the this uh, uh, suit of armor, the panoply, panoply of God, you know. Uh, so that's where we have our strength, is through Christ Jesus, uh, through the power that's in Him is how we have our strength. And so that's what that's what that verse is talking about, you know. Uh, put it in context, and it and and it makes more sense than just having a like I've got that deal on the wall it says in Christ I can do anything. Well. It's through the Holy Spirit that we have our, ability, our abilities that are, you know, to face the trials that we face, the tempt the the uh, temptations too, you know, through the strength of Christ, what He gives us. So, anyway, uh, I hope that makes sense. Hope that answers the question that I I seen uh, yesterday or this morning. So, uh, it's a good day. I've got. Sunlight shining out my window, and I'm fixing to go out and see if I can't stir something up. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.